Welcome to the final ride. Woo! Yippee. <laughs> so, welcome. I am Guhong Kruton Malcolm Wu, the director of this element, also played Misha. And who are you? I'm White, and I played Constance Blackwood. I'm Eileen Bronk, and I played Jane Doe in the cover. Album. I am Danny, and I was Noel. Fuck yeah, you were. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Or that fucked up girl. <laughs> Marley's not here, so we can swear however the fuck we want. <laughs> but it is when this comes out, when this comes out, when you're watching this, dear viewer, it will have been 18 months since the start of this album, roughly. And so, we're, what better to begin than the start? So, let's see. I don't think, yeah, none of you here were offered the role, I think. Maybe you were, but how did, in terms of casting, that happened in, around spring of 2022. How did you all find out about this album and what spurred you to join? Um, so how I mean I mean, I don't know <laughs> going next. Um so uh I found out about this album. Um it was sometime around high school and um Well yeah, you were a senior. Yeah, I was I was a senior at the time. And um Goo, you approached me at the um, Bethlehem Library, and <laughs> you were like, "Hey, I'm doing a Ride the Cyclone album. Do you want to join in?" I'm like, and like, I knew about the show prior. It was like marches ago, probably marches ago. I don't know how that. Would... Yeah, did I introduce you to the show? Yes. It was, because, it was through the bittersweet album, right? Yes, because you had me sing um, Sugar Cloud, and I yeah. need to know the context of it. So yeah. I remember vividly First like concert. shoveling right. snow from the car, listening to the Ride the Cyclone album. And oh, I, I fell in love with it right away, and I wanted to do it. Like when you introduced me to the album, not the concept album. And um, when you were hinting at me about which role I would get. I kind of knew. There was I knew no, what there was role no I was getting. I knew what role I was getting. There's no mistake. I tried like, to like be I tried to be like secretive about it. I was like, I was like, oh, do you want to guess what I was like? Here's my plan. Like I have like uh, maybe this role, maybe this role. I'm like, there was no way it was not you were not gonna be Jane. Like because like you know, I'm like the only other soprano that you right. know. And yeah, I'm reckon maybe, but you know. And I already sang for Constance and Ocean. I don't think you ever saw me as Ocean. Ocean, but you were you were a contender for Ocean because you had that range, right? And your acting chops. But yeah, I knew I was going to be Jane Doe. Yeah. <laughs> I, I remember, yeah. And, then, and then I remember the day, like I before the cast list was officially released, we were in the library too, and I was like talking to you. I was like, I couldn't stand it anymore, not being able to tell you. So I was like, I was like, okay, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the role. And I pulled up my phone. I'm like, what do you want to guess? Do you want do you want to guess it first? Like, do you want to guess? Like, you were dragging it on. I was dragging it on. And I was I was like, okay, okay. So, so, so you're not Constance, and so it's down to Ocean and Jane. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually, I was just like, it's yeah. Jane. And then it's, 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 distraction. You were so like done with it. You were so done with me at the point. You were like, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I was like, why did I do that? Yeah, that's so weird that this started when we were both in high school. We're and for real thing when we're both out of high school now and we're different grades. So like that says something about all the time shit, has passed. Man. Yeah, shit, man. <laughs> nah, shit, man. Yeah, yeah shit, man. It's so, whack. Yeah. Oh, wiggity, wiggity, whack. How did you find out? <laughs> yeah, you didn't know. Shit, know. At some point, you told me about Ride the Cyclone. Yeah. In like maybe junior year? Question mark. Question mark. No, wait, no, no, because junior year would have been the year that you told me about this. So maybe it's sophomore year. You'd mentioned Ride the Cyclone sometime before you mm -hmm. mentioned this. No, yeah, yeah, it's in your birthday video in sophomore year. I mentioned it. I say, I, I, made, I made an yeah. People like yeah, you. and I also sing a new birthday song for you. I'm, in sophomore year, I made a birthday yes. video, especially for me, like singing different oh. songs. I sang "What the World Needs" is people like Jeremy, you. Like, yeah, 
And then I also sang New Birthday Song. For her. So, so you were like, you should yeah. listen to that. And then I promptly didn't listen to it. Yeah, because you um, had time for a shit. I had time. I just was a shit friend. Um, I just didn't care enough because I, I, I'm bad like that. No. Um, or I forgot or something. Yeah. And then at some point in junior year, you were like, hey, Pam, what are you doing this summer? And I was like, <laughs> um, I don't know. I think my family's going away at some point maybe and you were like well hey would you maybe want to be in an out in a uh um oh darn what uh cover album there we go would you maybe want to be in a little cover album project of mine for ride the cyclone and i was like i don't know what that show is and you're like i was like I don't oh listen to 16 it. star one comes back who will it be I have a pitch ready. Um, I remember it was in the car too. We were in the car because you were filming for a poetry out loud. Because she, she's a she's a she's she's a national champion or runner up for yeah. like poetry I'm out loud. Probably- oh poetry yeah, out- I I remember that. Oh my god. But yeah, so so she was filming like a, she was for like the news, not the news for like the live stream of this po- televised event. Then we were filming like a bumper for her, and I was invited along to get miscellaneous footage. And in in the car a- after, I was like, hey. Have you ever heard of a little show called The Cycling? But probably something like, oh, I feel like you told me about that at some point, and I didn't listen to it. Yeah. Um, And so I was like, that could be fun. And I distinctly remember talking to my mom about it in the car at a Starbucks um, drive through. Uh, and Starbucks. I was probably going to see our friend's children um, at the time. And I was like, Gu wants to like put me on this project. And it sounds like it's going to be a lot of work. And I don't know what I should do. And my mom was like, she said something. I don't remember what she said. Anyway, I was like, okay, sure, I'll do it. <laughs> then I was constant. I oh, so just got so no, it was so album. much fun. It was so much fun. I think I can't remember what I had going on the summer between junior and senior year, but I know I was out of town a, like a good amount. I do remember so, in the car when I asked you about it, you said that you had nothing going on this summer. Like, yeah, I really thought before. I had nothing going on, and then I was like, oh shoot, the, That's day, the times funny. that you're recording are the times when I have stuff going yeah. on. But it was so much fun, and I'm really glad I did it. And I basically days. got like drafted for. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, you can play constant for. Like, I hope- <laughs> oh my God, it's actually just as bad. This is a war. That's true. So I just offered you anyway, costumes. Pretty much. Probably. Yeah. I mean, like, who else are you going to pull? I feel like you offered me a role and then you were just like, you're Constance now. And I was like, okay. Sure. And then I did it. I yeah, you, did. my friend. So now, Danny, on to you. Best for last. What? Yeah. How did you find out about this, first of all? Because I had no idea who to work <laughs> for before this. <laughs> I found out about it on Instagram. Um, and. I think it was when Ride the Cyclone was starting to get more popular, but still not a lot of people knew about it. And so I was taking any Ride the Cyclone content I could get still, um, because I've been a fan since the cast album came out. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever done anything like this before, like performing? No. Not, not even like theater or anything. No, I have done okay theater, but it's been a while. It's been a hot <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, it doesn't show you because you you do you do great. Your vocals are like some of the cleanest things I've ever received in like my G, my Google Drive. Seriously, <laughs> like they're like it's great. It's giving season. <laughs> Thank you. I think actually it's giving it's it's giving season. Um. So, um. I remember, <laughs> no offense that any other cast but the your talia vocals especially <laughs> because those are hard harmonies that and they're melismatic and they go all over the place you're the cleanest one especially if they're in a different key <laughs> you different know we used to and everyone else had like slight mishaps and you had slight mishaps too everyone did but you had like the least ones i'm gonna say i did not know my color yeah you, you, still don't you, you did all your vocals in like one day and like, i don't know how bad i did learned them the along the way yeah yeah, I remember I spent like a lot of time worrying about get getting it right. Yeah, I bet. I, I, God, I, I, I'm just yeah. thinking the work I put y'all through. I for that summer. a panic attack over that Talia song. Yeah, <laughs> trying to learn it the night before. It was like days before and I had to go to college for the first time. time. Yeah, like God. Okay. <laughs> Spent like a solid <laughs> hour while trying on clothes, just crying over the Talia army. <laughs> oh my God. And uh, 
I remember Danny sent me a. Did, did I do callbacks for you, Danny? Did I call you back for something, or did I just take your audition at face value? I can't remember. I think. I remember you. Just you gave, I think you. I think you gave me Noel's monologue, or did you sing some? What did you? Uh, I think I did both. Yeah, but maybe. I can't actually remember. It's been me so neither. long. I remember. I think you were wearing an orange shirt, and that's all I know. I don't think it's I have an wow. orange shirt. Oh so that's well. Interesting. Well, never mind. That's just a theory. Well, Goo, you'd remember a lot about oranges, wouldn't you? So casting was a thing that happened, and then uh, you all got cast. <laughs> um, yeah. So, what was what were your reactions to being cast? I, uh, just Danny, I guess, because you two I already know, or we we it's already just, or we already we already described. Or we wait, I mean, yeah. What was your for reaction? The people at home, like, what do you want to know? Yeah, <laughs> they can't hear us, or we can't hear them right now. They're not but, real. But, yeah, but but what was your reaction when I offered? Did I offer it to you over text or in person? I think you offered me a place in the cast, and I feel like when we talked about it, you were thinking that I would be an ensemble member, but I'm not sure. So I looked at the list, this cast list, and I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> <It's> like, oh. <laughs> anyway, a surprise appearance by Alex Mueller. Alex Mueller. Hello. Surprise guest appearance. Hello. Okay. We're just talking. We're just talking about how uh, we reacted when we got cast. Danny, how, how did you react to being cast? Because uh, I, re- I think you found out like most people through the group chat when I sent a yeah. picture of my whiteboard with the cast list. I was I very excited. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't know how to use words. I was excited. Word, words. <laughs> you're, you're you're a poet. You were a novelist. Or you never wrote me? a novel. Or describe how they reacted when they got cast. Like, God, get it together. Yeah. <laughs> All the way back. Oh, my God. And Alex, uh, did, I don't remember if I asked you this, but asked you this this morning, but how did think, you react? Um, I think you didn't act, ask me how I reacted, but I was not surprised because I think I remember you asked me if I wanted to be a part of it. And I assumed Ricky because of yeah, because because you did Ricky before because I did it in the past. Yeah, not in the so, full album, but it was in like one of my yeah crappy little collab album albums. And he sang t- Space Age I can see, I feel like in a way that was my audition, even though it pretty was much more, yeah. That's what it was I don't a demo think I track a disguise. It was a it demo was. track glorified, really. Literally. Oh my, you're singing so uh, looking for comedy. Yeah. Oh my god! I mean, do you want to hear my answer? I mean, we we already discussed this, but yeah. (laughs) But I mean, like, but I mean, you figured it out. Yeah, basically, and so like, what was like going on in your head on the leading up to me milking the uh, reveal (laughs) that you were doing? Oh my god! I freaking whiteboard. Wait, focus. No, my my phone and computer do not work together. It's you can kind of see it. There's the yep. there's Goose hand right in. And that's Misha that's was yeah. Played because I didn't know who Misha was gonna be yet. Misha was even not real. Like okay, even when you didn't tell me directly, and I like knew Robin, that I, was be oh. I told you. So I saw Megan and Robin on I did, here. I, and I was like, what do you mean I'm constant? Oh. I forgot Robin was in this. Yeah, actually, Lauren isn't in here. Yeah, Lauren was a late entry. I remember yeah. that. But yes. I, I don't remember Robin. Oh, I do remember like, Robin being okay. in the yeah. like, I don't remember that at all. But I don't right. know if they dropped it later on. Yeah, sorry. We interrupted you, Lean. Sorry. Go <laughs> on. It's okay. Um I mean like I knew you were gonna like give me Joan like Joan. Jane Doe. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Jane Doe Pryor. But like I was honestly like super super stoked because I remember um replaying um Ballad of Jane Doe like throughout the whole time I was listening to the album because it just sounded so good. Right? And I knew I could do it. That's oh, kind of that was so narcissistic. My but, song. <laughs> too. But, like I knew I could like fit the part. So like I was honestly like super stoked. I, I knew you could fit the part too, even though I'd never heard you. <laughs> but did I make you audition at all? 
You didn't make me audition. You just kind of. Oh, well. Because you know me. So far, for, so, so so much for being an equitable director. Right? <laughs> but um, mm -hmm. you could do it because you we would sing Cosette and Marius together all the time during Les Mis. Exactly. Yeah, because that's what I thought. Why is this computer making us washed out? Me and Madame Tenardi, it's your audition. Yeah. No, it was me, Madame Tenardi. It was just us singing together in like the wings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, 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 Alex, were you saying something? <laughs> I was gonna say, I back when I got into Ride the Cyclone around like I think April, May, when like right after the cast album came out, I was the same way Eileen was, but with Sage Bachelor Man, weirdly enough. I like, I kept just going same, back to it, except yes, it was oh with the goodness. ballad of Jane Doe. It's such a good song. It is, it is. so good. Like, I was obsessed with it. I heard it twice. It's so easy. <laughs> easy. What I loved most about Ride the Cyclone when I got into it was just the variety and like knew nothing. Right. Yes. It's like a variety thing. It is. It's like a variety show. I just love how disorienting both Ballad of Jane Doe and Sabu. Sabu. <laughs> they just, I feel like. And they're just they... like layered on top of each like. Not Lair, what the hell? Like <laughs> right, right next to each other. So adjacent. I don't know. I don't know what's happening in those songs, but I mean, I do know what's happening because I listened to that album religiously. But <laughs> we're out here, penis heads. <laughs> anyway, that line should have been the show. Penis heads. It should have. <laughs> do not heads. do and ordeal recreational no penis drugs. heads. Do not do and ordeal recreational penis heads. All right, that's the rule. Don't. I know, disappointing for you what and me. So, <laughs> I should cut that out. So, after after we got cast, or we, I cast myself. I guess I don't know. Yeah. You not having to do that. Yeah. So, um. Rehearsal. Well, first we did a read through, which was exciting, and you weren't at that though. So I think I was. <laughs> no, it was because Katie had to read for you. <laughs> you you were you were just kind of cutting in and out. Yeah. No, I feel no, like no, no. This no. was the first read through we did back in like when we started the process. Cool. Oh yeah. I think I think we did first we did like a rehearsal. I think maybe I called the choir or something. Was, yeah, and then the yeah, and then and then the real read through was just like the second thing because I and you weren't there and Katie had to read so go sit over there for a little bit. <laughs> Pam. Anyway, I'm gonna rename myself. <laughs> so how was the read through for y'all? <laughs> like what 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 were your emotions through it and like were you like excited or like nervous or like what were your reactions to? Get, like properly meeting everyone for the first time because a lot of us didn't know each other except for all of us who knew each other <laughs> so yeah yeah um i mean i watched the bootleg prior to the read through like a lot because i was like, like, so, like before you joined you finished. oh yeah i just kind of knew what i was doing from like watching it so like <laughs> you like have I, it know it by heart by the head Oh yeah, no, for real. And like singing like singing it for the first time in front of everybody. That was it was like kind of nerve-wracking, but like I wanted to like show like what I could bring to the table yeah. to everyone else that would be working yeah. with me. And I mean, it was really awesome. It was it was awesome meeting meeting the new people. And it was awesome. It was it was it was great. I had I had a very fun time during the read through. Very fun time. I felt like it was definitely like the first time a lot of us got to know each other. And like for us new folks, I consider myself somewhat new, even though like I well, worked. You're too. basically you're a veteran. A a bit, but it was nice getting to meet like Marley and Danny and like. A, a few of the new folks that I hadn't proper and then to actually properly meet like some of the other veterans and yeah. and just a lot of us were already very familiar well acquainted with the show 
But for me, it was like seeing we could meld different versions and still have a cohesive script. And then just hearing all the everyone do the material for the first time was also huge. Like, Eileen, you kind of touched on this, but I was mesmerized by Ballad of Jando in the first read through. <laughs> wow. It's gonna rock. I mean, she has that effect I on people. the sleigh, guys. What do you want? What's a sleigh? What's a Such sleigh? a sleigh. It's it's giving. It gave it a give it. It, it gave, you 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 gove, you gave, you give. <laughs> I just goved. You've been got. You've been gone. You been gone. Oh my you you goved. Mm. Ever since it's giving was made, every day is the <laughs> is part of the season of giving. Yesterday yes. was Thanksgiving. Not not just Christmas and Thanksgiving. Every day is giving. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. Danny, Danny, do, you oh, have, yeah. do you have any thoughts yeah, about yeah. I was excited. But, um, you know, right. I was also nervous because I didn't really know anyone. I mean, I had talked to Molly before. Um, I met her when she sent me um, her theory about <laughs> Jane and Ocean being cousins and then we became friends through that and which is really cool that was fun um yeah, be Marley's I had never here. yeah but I had never like had the like, video call with her or anything like that and so that was the first time meeting her as well yeah so it was cool meeting everyone and then everyone slayed and yeah <laughs> it was great I could have been there. Yeah, Pam just says she wishes she could have been there. there. I don't know. You probably had something or something. I don't know. I, I also remember Wednesday, going up I late, and it was a solid like half hour yeah. of you guys playing theater games because I was oh, helping. Yeah. I was on. I it's, was it's grocery shopping, and I didn't get home until a certain time, and I just joined, and it was like, "Yay, we can start." <laughs> I think we played Web of Lies first while we were like waiting Jake for you. Jake played with us for a hot second. Jake did for a hot second games. one of those rehearsals he did. Yeah. All right. Ah. Pam's be drunk. Because, no, 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 you had Red to. Because we're done talking about the part you weren't involved in. Pamela. Yeah. Pamela. This was, yeah. this was in June, too. Like, it wasn't even July yet. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It was like, you're too busy wearing paint. <laughs> Could have been poetry out loud something, but hmm, I don't know. I don't know. It's a no. All right. So after that, how did rehearsals work? Can anyone raise their hand and tell me? <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> Zoom. Yeah. Elaborate, please. Two, three rehearsals, max. I, we kind of gave up. We kind of gave up after a certain point. But... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of. Theater games, and then we tried. You tried to teach us. Um, we will never leave this town. Yeah, that was the first yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, and then you were like, at the end, you're like, and this is the part of the process where I remember just how hard it's going to be to yeah. do this in two months because we thought we were going to, be able to do this in two months. I think yeah, that's, that's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you my website you'll see that initially the release date was going to be august 31st 2022 right that did not happen and then then and it then was pushed it back, pushed to, back september, to september 14. september 14 and then it was going to be drops starting september 14. Mm-hmm. oh rod oh man mm-hmm. i was ambitious and i and i wanted i didn't and i wanted to not just do the songs right the cycle i wanted to do scenes I wanted to do inserts. I wanted we, to do bumpers. Yeah, because like, oh, you like had me. So and... <laughs> you you just had a me Pam, like go through like one of the specific scenes. It was like the one transitioning into Ballad of Jane Doe. You had me and Pam. My turn. Oh. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I have a recording of you two at the at Cicada's yeah. mic recording that. I have a video of you two. You have to put that in it's, the uh, It is. It's going to yeah. be in there. It's in the folder. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, that's such a rehearsal. Good <laughs> There's another rehearsal where I was in the car and it was right. back when Jake's tired. I'm going to make Jake okay. watch this. Uh, so it was Jake, back Jake when... is Pamela's yeah. partner boyfriend. Yeah. Um, partner boyfriend. He's partner my boyfriend. boyfriend. Um, anyway, uh, 
his car was his tire was like loose or something or it like wasn't staying filled and so the whole ride and I remember singing something and I was like ah. <laughs> so good, like, like extra vibrato like, read through some scenes or something I don't remember I was <laughs> I was not on long enough to actually like do any rehearsals, and I can't remember if we had any rehearsals after. <laughs> I feel like it was just kind of like I y'all are. Oh, the rehearsals were also weird because yeah. the way like some of us could only meet at a certain time, right. and so it was like yeah. we did the same. We did like similar things, but it was just like divided between two rehearsals. So yeah. when I did the reports and stuff, I literally was just like part one. Part Burger King two, foot lettuce rehearsal. Part like, two millennium approaches. Try, trying to schedule these rehearsals was really funny because it was my first time using Google Calendars because that's how complicated it got. I had to turn to Google uh, Calendars. And so I would put I in everyone's in conflict. And for Danny, Danny said he had worked at like six every Monday. And so and Google said, okay, make this a recurring event. Sure, for every week. And it still goes on through all the Mondays. Home. Yeah. So oh my god. No. Do you want to do the concert reminder that it's Danny will be at It doesn't give me like a notification or anything. It's just that when it over <laughs> in Google calendars, it always lists Danny on Monday. Danny at 6 p.m. Conflict. <laughs> so. So silly. I don't even remember what Funny that thing. is. Me neither. I just well, no, I remember it was work. You didn't say no. what you were doing. Maybe you were like doing something illegal. Probably. That sounds Probably. like me. You were um, every so Monday weird. at 6, you were bootlegging a show. <laughs> Flying to New York criminal activity to bootleg a Broadway show yeah. and then flying back. Oh, Tell me you could have been here for Sugar Cloud. <laughs> oh my yeah, god! I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to find out like this oh, in front of the audience. Dude, where gonna, do we like, yeah. stand somewhere? San, Santa Monica. Santa Monica. In fact, and Alex is gone. Sad. <laughs> so sad. So sad. <laughs> So within no, those rehearsals, here, I just went off camera for a second. To, yeah, he's doing something illegal. <laughs> he's bootlegging a illegal thing. He's bootlegging this. All yeah. right. So <laughs> within these rehearsals, um, not nah, just to get my water bottles. Was there anything, any like? So this was very character work heavy. That I was very passionate about. That I remember. Was there any uh, note that I gave you that stuck out to you, or like something I said that really helped you characterize your character? Let's go in a circle, starting with Danny. <laughs> Um, I can't really remember anything. <laughs> the only notes it was 18 that I ago, remember so. you giving me were when I kept getting things wrong, like um, oh, incorrigible. I kept, <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> I kept accidentally calling Ocean a whore. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. I think I vaguely remember that. I think that sounds like something that Noel would do. <laughs> yeah. You keep it in your pants for once, you whore. <laughs> you incorrigible whore. <laughs> you incorrigible slut. Helene. Well, you're one to talk, Noel. <laughs> God. Oh, shit. Projecting you're a whore. I can't sing a song about being a whore. You know, the idea of. Noel saying, can you keep it in your pants for once, you incorrigible whore, and then Ocean saying, you're one to talk. It's so real. Mm -hmm. What about you? Did I give you any notes? I remember I was doing the read-through of the um, one of the monologues. It's all the same thing, Jawbreak. It's the same thing. (laughs) It's all one chunk of the show. (laughs) You speak everything. You're Every character, so you speak. Fact, I do, um, but I was doing the monologue, and it was the place where it was like uh, leprechauns and candy and uh, Christmas, and you were like, "Hey, can you have a different level of excitement, different reason to be happy, a different reason for yeah. loving each other?" That's the only note I remember you ever giving me. Um, you probably gave me more notes than that, but it has yeah. been a hot sec. Yeah, you also probably fixed my harmonies on multiple. <laughs> Maybe that was me. I don't remember anything. I, re- yeah, I, I remember- looked at you and I was like, is that right? While well, recording, and you were like, I don't know. Yeah. You were like, I don't know your harmonies. Dude, it sounds fine. <laughs> so I remember you reading the Jawbreaker monologue for the first time. Or, yeah, for the first time over Zoom. And it was, it, despite 
me wanting you to have levels for like the different things. It was still so tender and heartwarming. I remember it was, and I was like, wow, I made a great job not making you audition and just handing you the role. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 clap to you. Clap to yourself. Anyway. Clap for <laughs> every snaps for, for, snaps for, for Pam. Snaps for Pam. Oh. <laughs> so Eileen. Eileen. <laughs> you remember any notes? <laughs> oh, um, I don't really remember what we talked about. Oh, sorry. During the zoo, what? No, no. What? No, continue. I'll say after. <laughs> uh, I don't really remember any like specific notes that you gave me during our Zoom calls, but I just remember talking about the character, like how like I I viewed the character, and just kind of going through the song and the lyrics and what you thought like i was thinking when like singing them that's mostly what i remember. yeah i don't know if you remember Cause, anything because jane because jane it's an interesting case because the whole mm -hmm. point is that she doesn't remember right but, but there's still some a character about her so it's trying to so it's just trying to put your finger on it is like the hard thing i remember we had a i i, I kind of threw you under the bus during the one character meet character work zoom where like i asked you that i talked to you about that and i was like i was like so i was like so she's is she conscious or not? And if she is conscious, then what part of her is? And I like it's such I, a director I, thing I, to I, do. I, I like set oh you yeah, up for, for like and I felt so bad, but I set you up for failure in answering that question. But you gave a pretty profound answer. I don't remember what it was, but I don't remember what I said. Yeah, I barely well, remember I'm, anything part. I said. <laughs> my fingers are on screen. What? My fingers are on screen, and I've been playing with the holes in the crocheted blanket. <laughs> I'm sure my big head has been covering it. Um, <laughs> hi guys. Hi. But um, yes. Yeah, so, but what 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 were you thinking whenever you uh, portrayed Jane? I portrayed her as um, a bird. again we a bird a bird because <laughs> Jane the bird. Just kind of looking around. Yeah. You did that in the Battle of Jane Dovey. You, you went like... <laughs> yeah, because I was just kind of wrong. lost. I was yeah. lost, man. But, but, My but, brain but... wasn't there. Because it wasn't <laughs> there. Every time it was you replaced Jane. by a doll head. It's <laughs> true. Not but really. like... Oh my God, my leg I took is it crazy. as like, since she like... Since her like head came out, like she doesn't have like a brain. She doesn't have any like thoughts behind those eyes. Yeah. So she's just kind of there. Good lady. But like, you know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, that's 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 basically how I was. What about uh yeah. actually I'll, I'll wait for Battle of the Day later. So okay. Let's um ooh. Okay, so let's skip all the way to <laughs> filming day. Oh wait, no, let's let's talk about recording. Some of y'all us Del Martians recorded in our producer's basement in the last little cicada. I love allergies. So how did so talk about your basement experiences, you two. So three. Actually three, because Alex came over too. But oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Well that was part of filming day. Yeah. Okay, well, so I had I had two, three days in that basement. How many you, days? You, did you I have because some of the we did at least one day up in the normal oh. studio. Oh yeah. Down. Yeah. We came over and Eileen had already been. Yeah, we picked you recording. up. Recording. Yes. Yeah. We were, and and I didn't have a my friend. It's or he called me at some point, and he was like, "Oh my god, you asshole! You didn't do the second part of the bio assignment." And Cicada was like, "Oh, I was a senior and I didn't want to." And my boyfriend was like, "How yeah, evil! I love you." Also, um, <laughs> this is. <laughs> they were. No, they were partners on an AP bio assignment. They were partners. Um, and yeah, that's a different story. Uh, but I remember doing like little scenes, recording stuff um, that day. L little scene recordings. And then I think it was the second time I was there to, was to record Sugar Cloud. Sugar Cloud the day of. Yeah, I mean, the second time I was in the basement. No, so I think what I remember is you did all your dialogue in one day with Eileen, and then yeah, was, that was the and, first and then, day. And then the other time you came down and recorded like 
everything else. And then you did, sh- and then you did Jawbreaker that day, and then you recorded Sugar Cloud the day of filming. I remember because I was stressed about making a click track. What What was the timeline? Because I was there three. It's probably days. in our Google Drive somewhere on a Google Doc. Yeah, I was there three days, and I remember when I re- at one point when I was recording, I was like, "Can I record the end? Re-record the end of Sugar Cloud because I didn't like the way part of it sounded." I loved it. And I think I was able to redo the end, or maybe I wasn't I because were. I wasn't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. One- <laughs> um, <laughs> queen is an overstatement, but thank you. No, um, you are a queen. Princess. Queen. A passenger sense. princess. <laughs> One take, countess. Um, yeah. yeah uh, anyway. Um. Yeah, so that first one was the day of recording all the dialogue plus Jawbreaker, which is a fun little time. I had never been in like a proper like recording space before, so that was that was fun. okay. But mic. like, I had the mic and like the headphones that I felt so special. And cool. yep. Oh wait, that's a lie. I did a band camp thing, but that was forever ago. I didn't remember it. Um, and, uh, oh, <laughs> oh. um, and then I recorded Sugar Loud, and Alex was there, and that was cool. Yep. Um, and I'll I'll talk about my perspective when I get to yeah, my day. I remember uh being there and I was like changing into my costume and I was just hearing the guitar and I was like heck yeah heck yeah go off um and then I came <laughs> I another day right it Pretty was actually early. the day that I came the third time was right before I was leaving and I can't remember where my family went but we went somewhere and so I had to like peace out really fast at like a certain point in the i think i had to get out of there at like six o'clock sharp i could not get out of there any later than six o'clock uh and i just recorded all the rest oh, of my harmonies what is that? Constance. yes okay. yes we did record yeah. meet Constance that day and then you never posted it yeah you did yeah i was really offended actually um, I was with my full cicada so had the camera. Tis a gift to be simple, <laughs> tis a gift to be free. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but yeah, that was a silly, goofy little time recording. My favorite was watching Goose sit on the floor and play like traffic jam with the in, So in the <laughs> track that is posted on my YouTube channel right now, if you turn up the lane way up, at certain parts in her jawbreaker monologue, you can hear little. <laughs> things of plastic in the background and that's me playing <laughs> oh my god it's actually intentional i also remember uh the day that i recorded all of the harmonies other than the fact that i had learned them like two days before um there's, at there's, one there's point like a video of you i know that jake was in daya at the time my boyfriend was in daya at the time and so we made yeah, a video yeah. it uh it daya is a small town on the spanish island of mallorca in the mediterranean sea um they have a shack there as he says they have a shack they have a house there but apparently it's really small and not very like a shat house a shack shack house Uh, shack house um but we made a video of me and i think eileen doing that meow meow and cicadas just oh my god your ear covers their ears covered (laughs) So we have that video somewhere in the. It, it's in there. Yeah, yeah it, I can pull it up while you talk. Anyway, I think I think you've talked yeah. way too much. Yeah. Okay, way my. Too. Sorry. It is I no, it is Eileen here because she's still okay. still talking about recording. Yeah. Yep. Wait yep. your turn. Wait your turn. <laughs> okay. Um... Call a jo- okay. Sorry. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Um, Did, so, Cam didn't cover. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so, um, first day of recording of vocals and recording stuff was up like it wasn't in the basement. No, it wasn't in the basement. But um, you guys just had me sing um we were... the opening opening number. Yeah, dream of life, and, and I have a video bit. Yeah, dream of life. And, and yeah. It's, yeah, right now the as it's gonna be the intro to this. But I fun fact about that. So I I wanted to I really I wanted to capture the very first recording moment because that it was the very first audio recording. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah. And I wanted to capture the first one. You sang it, and you are very talented. 
but that first take was not it. It <laughs> so wasn't. It really leave. wasn't. That's why I would constantly ask, hey, can we do it again? Can we do it again? I'm not proud of this. So, so I deleted it and then recorded you doing it the second time. And that's the one that's on YouTube right now. Yeah. And I mean, <laughs> I, I felt like in that recording, I was a little on the higher side more than I wanted to be. But like, honestly, it's whatever. Because yeah. it's there and I can't do anything about it. No, it was still but... fan, fan fucking tastic, like undeniably. Okay. I yeah, mean, but, but the, yeah, the first day was up in, looks like it is like office space. And then, yeah. yeah. And then, and the then we moved to the basement to get all the others. Well, no, because then we um did, me and Pam did like yeah. little scenes. And stuff yeah, there's a lot. There were, there were, there were, there were, there were, there were, there there and then we moved, but like gradually, as we did more and more rehearsals through deeper into the month, then we moved down to the basement. As it's deeper, we go deeper. Go deeper. I feel like also part of the reason we moved down to the basement. Maybe not at all, but I'm allergic to cats, and so like I okay, would that, start yeah. dying physically when yeah. we're upstairs. Um, I always like, remember constantly you know, sneezing in the basement with you, Pam. Yes. Yeah. Was- the two of us were dying a little. Yeah. But, but um it's all about dead kids. So uh, uh, Yeah, we're all underground dead, you know? Uh it's method <laughs> acting. Method, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and I remember the day that I brought my costume, my full fledged costume. Yes, with your pinafore. Yes. And I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna put on the wig or not, because like I feel like that's like too like of this. <laughs> Yeah, but then you had me put it on anyway, and and then we didn't end up filming <laughs> anyway. Yeah, we ended up filming with it on, but it no, no, we no, we were planning on doing Battle of Jindo right after, but Cicada didn't have time, so we ended up filming Battle of Jindo the next day. And you came in your yeah. costume for nothing. By the way, here's you with the wig shoved on, but not all the way. <laughs> <laughs> so goofy! <laughs> it's so goofy. Such a goofy time. This photo is like all of us wearing it. It's hilarious. You should get oh yeah, y'all y'all took turns yeah. wearing my wig. Oh my gosh, I forgot that I put yeah. this on. We I we me, hindsight me, maybe it was a little bit rude, you. but I mean we have photos now, so yeah. <laughs> Photo evidence. Photo evidence. And I remember yeah. like the days of recording were like I was like counting down the days of like when I would be heading to college. So oh, like we oh, had yeah. to get things like this we really pressure. had to get Ballad of Jane Doe done before I had to leave. Yeah. Ballad of Jane Doe was the last thing we ever did before it was up in the air for Cicada to handle. Yeah. It was the last thing we ever did. Well, actually, no. Yeah, it was the last thing we ever did. And then what, yeah. immediately yeah. after, did we did we film stuff for Cicada's album right after Ballad of Jane Doe? We, yes, we day? did. We did because he asked us to do like mini vocals. Like I would, that was the day that I was like shouting. Yeah. Like, I'm crawling. <laughs> Yeah, an and, and it was when we went to the Van Dyke Preserve and went. And yeah, did, and I, I, I pretended to hit them with my car. And then we just had like still shots of just yeah. us in position those, of like. Those are moments. up now on Cicada's channel. Uh, slightly different than the intended, but all the photos are there and the yeah. visuals are there of us too. But anyway, oh, that is not cycling. That is not cycling though. So back to, to subject. Yeah. Now we can talk about filming day. Wait, hold on. Alex had stuff to yeah, say his about. Yeah, stuff, his stuff's about filming. Mine is connected, yeah. kind of. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. What? Something what? just. Um, <laughs> <laughs> of course. How, how could I remember? Like, as we were like filming, uh, <laughs> space age bachelor man vocals for me. I would constantly be like, for for the last meow, I was like. It's not good enough. I need to do it oh, better. I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> like, Cicada was like reeling. Cicada was just so done with me. It was so. Yeah. They did not like that song. Yeah. <laughs> he just did not want to work on it anymore. But I had to just keep prying and prying. Fuck. I'm looking for the video. <laughs> oh God! I know what video you're talking about. Oh. Nope, nope. Uh, oh my god. That's, that, that's slightly. We're I both so tired. Is, I think this is you going fuck up, girl. Uh, we, we also sent fucked up girl to Jake. Oh, um, oh man. Yeah. That's not the meows, but yeah. Yeah. I don't think you knew about it, but I'll play it for the home viewers. I'll play it right now. Anyway, maybe I won't. <laughs> <laughs> 
be that fucked, fucked up, up girl. girl. Fucked up girl. But I, I also remember um, the um, Noel's Lament backing vocals were, it was so hard for me for no reason. What? That was the that was the one I had what? most trouble with. Like 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 the like the patter part at the end. Yeah, it was like the it was like the um ooze during the um bridge. Oh, yeah. Well, those were easy. Well, for, <laughs> for some reason, it wasn't for me. Not I had the, the low time. harmony. Low harmony is always easy. I, go back to my I can't. I can't go low, man. No, but you have the high harmony. You're too low. Go down. Oh, I found a photo <laughs> from. From filming day. Yeah, that's exactly. This was There's another fun. one that with um Logan, Malcolm, and I, yeah. and then we photoshopped Danny in so he could be like, we got the boys here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He wasn't photoshopped. Danny, no, I was, you was, I was, you there. was there, guys. Did, no, actually, I just yeah. look based on the perfect lighting. Based on the lighting that yeah. is exactly and the headphones, it was perfect. Exactly. Better. You brought your headphones and everything. It made it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my Spin. god. That's enough for me. Shall we move on? Yes. Yes. So filming day. Alex, take it. Oh, away. So I talked about this, well, for those who haven't, but um, I live far away from the Delmardians of the galaxy, as I call them. Delmardians. <laughs> In a place and so, far, far away. Um, Cicada and Guhong told me that it was possible that they could literally drive across state, pick me up, bring me back for all just for filming day. So I was like, got it. I will pay you back, which I did in Reese's Puffs. Yeah. <laughs> because that's how we roll. And then I literally brought all my equipment, because I brought my acoustic, my electric, my pedals. My God. I didn't bring oh my, my ukulele. Because yeah. I was like, Cicada is going to have good equipment. I can actually get like a real, almost studio quality sound. And when I got there, it was like a fast operation. So they brought me down into the basement. And I was like, oh, this is a setup. And I ended up doing... um, It's homely. <laughs> first guitar part that I would have professionally recorded was for the big uranium mashup we will never leave this town and all i did was just play it like nor i played it clean basically but i was like and so here's where i want distortion here's where i want the chorus it was a lot it was a lot more like easy for me and then i got to space age bachelor man i was recording the guitar part for that and that's when you showed up him I... Um, <laughs> I get to um a part near the end and the high E string breaks. It was at the part, like, it was near the end of the song. And I was just like, uh. Oh, no. That Can happened you... while I was in the bathroom. That's what happened while I was in the bathroom. Cut that. I have a video of picking you up. From... And then afterwards, I was like, uh, okay, that's all good. Because I had already done most of my vocals. So it was literally just record guitar stuff. And uh, Pam showed up, so and I was like, "Okay, time for me to get changed." And I was getting into my costume, and I literally heard all of Sugar Cloud. I was like, "Holy hell, this sounds amazing!" Because it was the first time I'd ever heard Pam sing Sugar Cloud, and it was also the first time like hearing it live, muted a little bit by the bathroom in the basement. But it was still like, it was still, like, "Damn, we're gonna, we're gonna rock it." Yeah. So hard. Oh, in the Sugar Cloud yeah, music video, yeah. there are five strings on my Epiphone Les Paul <laughs> instead of six, but I'm still <laughs> doing the chords. So for all the guitar nerds out there, including myself, I'm actually playing it correctly. Nice. I would not know that. <laughs> the guitar oh, yeah. are out there. I, I I sincerely hope that a guitar nerd out there notices that. When oh, they watch definitely. Because I'm gonna be disappointed that, that when they find out that I made that I simplified the heck out of the guitar parts throughout the album. Because like your guitaring is sick, man. Yeah, and the guitaring that made its way into the opening mashup that's released now, like fantastic, you know? amazing, like, dude. Which is weird because it's on a crappy acoustic. Yeah, but still. It's so slight. Anyways, but that's my 
basement slash um a filming day tale. Yeah. What about everybody else? I should read the plan that we did for filming day. Oh, yeah. I had oh, it gosh. Really the it was uh, I need to reply that up. Uh, I, I need to reply this right now. Hold on. Talk. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I remember stuff from filming day. Uh, I specifically remember when I got to uh, Cicada's house to record Sugar Cloud. See, the first time I had gone there, the time before filming day, because uh, things ran. The, whoa, things whoa. went fast. Um, <laughs> I. Eileen and Goo and Cicada were like upstairs, so they saw the car and they were like, "Oh, come in, come in, come in!" But I, they were in the basement when I got there for filming day, uh, recording. So I didn't know that I was allowed to just like walk inside, and I have like really bad social anxiety sometimes. Oh. Not just like when it comes to like knocking on doors for people. Oh, I remember when I, when I don't know their families, I'm like, I will not ring the doorbell. <laughs> I will not remember yeah. like someone yeah. is going to come out and get me. So my dad, I think it was my dad. I sat in his car for like 20 minutes just frantically texting the group chat and goo and I was like, hey, can you come get me the time out? Am I allowed to come in? Where are you guys? Are you guys here? And I think you were somewhere else. Yeah. And you were like, just go in. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and finally, I wow. And just like Beckoned me inside <laughs> rapidly. <laughs> I think I was sick. I think I was recording Space Age Bachelor Man during that time. Probably why no one was checking their phone. Uh, it's like I literally saw you guys coming down the stairs, but yeah. I was still like, mid song. So I finally get inside, and I'm like, going to change into my costume, and then yeah. the string breaks. <laughs> out of the bathroom. I was like, "Is everything okay?" <laughs> I was like, "No." Oh, oh. Nothing, everything's bad so i had to pull up the google doc now this is what it looks like it's just like basic bullet points <laughs> separated by oh, yeah. times so first it's the header says 13 hour day while wow, this is reckless <laughs> <laughs> because it was to la casa cicada yeah 8 30 a.m get to la casa cicada cicada <laughs> buckle up for a long ass ride to syracuse 1045 arrive three questions and, and then get our ship back from Syracuse and then 1245 p.m. a.m. p.m. PM. afternoon Gu Hong get to Eagle to meet Marley and Megan Alex get to Millen's house and be like what the fuck is up <laughs> get shit organized <laughs> I did say that but yes oh my god it's no it says that yeah. <laughs> Pam records sugar class? five question marks yeah. Alex <laughs> guitar and vocals guitar <laughs> E-T-A-R. Yeah. And then 2.30 p.m., <laughs> Millen and Alex get the fuck over to Eagle. Uh, actually, this is slightly inaccurate because I ended up I vividly really remember that one. I remember Cicada and I walking from their house in the direction of Eagle and then we met you guys there. Yes. As <laughs> soon as I was done with Sherwood. And I also like, got to see the the <laughs> I think I was the last one to arrive because like, I yeah. was kind of like, yeah, you arrived around. at Stewart's and you forgot your wig, so I had to drive to your house to get your wig. <laughs> yeah, because didn't know you needed the wig so bad. <laughs> you needed it on I was the in Europe. Okay. I was the in... dummy head. I don't have it. Wait. Do... I don't it's know if it's really jet lag on filming. It here. is. Uh, no. Probably not. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, wait, sorry. Very Two recently. people were talking. I don't know what Eileen said. No, very recently, before filming yeah. day, I had been in Europe for that like France Spain trip. And you were sugar clouding. Yeah. Days after getting home from Europe. Yeah, because what I remember, I know this now. I remember this now because at one point I was talking to Megan about Barcelona while waiting on the playground after having been. Yeah, I remember the reason Megan was called for this was because Marley was arriving from a location that will not be discretioned. Um, you said Syracuse. You doxed me. <laughs> Marley, we can dox you, but we're not doxing Marley. Okay. Marley, sorry, leave that out. We're not doxing MJ. That's fine. But um, MJ, the reason <laughs> I had Megan come over is because MJ was coming over from there 15 minutes away, and I didn't want them to just arrive and see me in a baseball cap, say a loser, <laughs> untucked shirt, and like me looking like a kid ever at an elementary school of all places. And so I wanted to have Megan there as <laughs> my woman companion <laughs> to show that this was safe. Stage one. So yeah, it's okay, MJ. You're safe with us. Yeah. 
This is a slave space. It's such a slave space. space. Oh my god, do I have a story from Stewart's? (laughs) Yes. So Oh god. Middle Eagle run their stuff. Three o'clock. Full cast called to Stewart's. I didn't end up getting anything to Stewart's because I was busy being a chauffeur and getting doing a bunch of stuff. Eat your grub, buy candy. That didn't end up happening. Ghost Quartet reunion that didn't end up happening because Megan ditched. <laughs> and then 3 30, get your asses over to Eagle, run your shit, film your shit at four, cast photo for fuck's sake at five o'clock, get in the damn car, Alex, and then arrive <laughs> in Syracuse at around 7 15. We this ended up heated me in the car. Yeah, heating getting in the car. But first we got ice cream. I remember that. <laughs> and we filled up. I just remember there being like a bunch glasses. of bees just yeah, yeah around us, like around the place. Of, like, hold on, we're not, we're, not schedule yet. we're not done out. with the schedule yet. <laughs> and then the last thing, nine thirty p.m. It ended up being like more like eleven thirty p.m. And oh, surprise, we lived? Question mark? Question Four mark? Question question. Mark. <laughs> and then go to go the fuck to sleep. And that was yeah. August fifteenth in bullet points. Now, how did I'm you sorry, sorry. sorry. Just continue. Wow. <laughs> Whoops. I didn't too scared to continue that. <laughs> it was a wild day. It was a wild day. Oh my lord. I remember it was yes. it was a I it remember great that. Day. Yes. And, oh and yeah, because you were there. how we finished early yeah. actually and we had time for headshots. <laughs> oh yeah. Photos. And these headshots are gone forever because they're lost from the camera somehow. Man. Which was a shame because they all looked fantastic. I remember I did the the douchey frat boy. Oh my god, yes. Pose I was like just like hands over my crotch. <laughs> I was just like <laughs> <laughs> Do you all remember your headshot poses? I don't. You just told me to stare at the camera. I think like, I did I, didn't, I, don't, know stare. I, 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 I don't, don't know if you told me anything, but I, I barely remember. Headshotted. Yeah. I, I remember because there's a photo of me going. <laughs> you did the F before oh, the, the fuck boy <laughs> pose. I was probably going to Lake George the day I had to run. Uh, That's where I'm remembering where my family was. <laughs> <laughs> Why you like this? <laughs> Before Sugar Cloud, I was in Europe on a school sponsored EF tourist trip. Nice. And after I recorded all the rest of the audios, I think my I think I think my family was going up to Lake George to spend a week up there before school started yeah. again. Yeah, I just found a rehearsal of photos of rehearsing sugar cloud i rehearsed it with you and eileen i rehearsed it with you because you were the lead and eileen because she was the dance captain because she's oh right i was the dance captain this is her this is her cheering for nothing i love cheering for nothing i forgot to say this but um i commend you for your air guitaring (laughs) for my track Oh my god, I gotta I gotta put that in the behind the scenes couple. Oh yeah, sure. because I was like standing in for and Pam. Joggers are like running through it. Through it. I have a hole in them and then, yeah, they're my favorite joggers. And I had to sew both sides of the um oh my god, I look special. No, we're not putting no, that on camera. It's I great! Know. It's a rainbow tank top. <laughs> oh it's gotta be on camera. It's, it's a rainbow tank. And here's me uh, in the basement of Cicada when it was Cicada's first time watching Ride the Cycle. We were playing the. Oh, oh yeah. I remember that. Yuck, yeah. yeah. I actually remember that because afterwards we had a little musicians meet. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I'm and like, I remember something. you you had me come to the uh, playground and you had me like run through. Every track, yeah. Yeah, every track. For some reason, I don't know. Oh, I had to run mine because I didn't know if we were going to have enough actors to fill every role. So I was, or if I was going to have to be the cameraman. So I needed someone to cover my track. And it wouldn't have been you, but it would have been someone. And we needed to send a video to someone. Jake's flying home. Yeah, probably. I I, I was seriously considering like, because we were, I was so nervous that not everyone was going to be able to make it. That I was, yeah, I was like wondering if I was going to have to put up on my story. Hey, anyone in Bethlehem, can you fill in for an actor for a thing on this day? And they were going to have to fill in for my role. <laughs> but luckily, that didn't happen. So, Danny, what did you think of filming? <laughs> yeah, you looked very ginger. Yeah. Um, I remember filming day because I was there and did the filming. 
Oh yeah. Yep. I, I, I definitely remember that was not day. in a it different was, country. It was a magical day. <laughs> yeah. We're all just kind of vibing. Yeah, do you guys yeah, remember I, I traveled by map did? like in the Muppets. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. I was gonna say to raise money to buy his ticket. Yeah, just trying to tell a joke in here. <laughs> anyway, here's me as Pam. Oh My yeah. Sister, yeah. I, this was this was me just choreographing Sugar Cloud, and that was me as and I had pigtails. So you couldn't tell we're the same person. Yeah. I saw no difference. No difference. <laughs> so filming day happened. It came and it went. Wait, can we tell the Stewart story? Oh, yeah. should we? About the bees. I wasn't there, so you got to tell. Oh, okay. So it's Stewart's. Oh. Um, I was I got, there for the bees. I, I was go. there for the bees. And there are um, kind of. God, there are yellow jackets all. There were over. yellow jackets, and they were oh, swarming. Yeah. I don't know who sandwich. I think it was either your sandwich. It was or my sandwich. Logan. It yeah, was my sandwich. And Logan one, got one else of them. Sandwich. One of the yellow jackets landed directly on my sandwich and was like carving a piece out of it. And Logan kept trying to like wave it off, and I was like, "Please leave it alone! I do not want to get stung. It can have my sandwich. I'm over here." <laughs> oh yeah, and I put Fred in my pocket. Yeah, and Logan were like, "Just let me have at it." I think someone tried to. And then I showed up. <laughs> and then I lean fixed everything. I didn't. I didn't do anything because I legitimately didn't want to. <laughs> Get stung. And probably yelled well, at Logan and said, Kate, I have like really bad, really bad. I'm not, I don't have a phobia of bees, but I'm very scared of them because one me stung too. me right here when I was two years old and I don't remember it at all, but I've been told the story one too many times. Oh, um, I am like, if the bee wants a chunk of my bread, it can have a chunk of my bread. And they're like over here trying to wave it off. I'm like, please just leave it alone. The sandwich is the bee, is is the yellow jackets now. And they kept trying the sandwich to sandwich is the bee. <laughs> and then, you oh, know, it's. Bee finally got its chunk of sandwich it flew away wow so you're right all along. i was right all along <laughs> i had a terrible time with a bee first time i ever got stung by a bee and you oh. were there boo i i was there oh my god Core you remember. were there you Core were there i was in like seventh grade oh my god. <laughs> yeah no for real. i was in, yeah i was in like sixth grade and <laughs> I vividly remember the bee like, like, taking me out right there. Oh, yeah. and like we were like on the playground, just kind of like goofing off, and then I felt something drop on my head. I thought it was a leaf. I went to brush it off. It was a bee, and it stung me right here. <laughs> and oh. then all the kids were just looking at me weird, and I was like, <laughs> crawling <laughs> up in a ball on the playground. Kids on that playground too. Some of those kids oh, were like. Gosh with their hands out of the air um, like, and killing them like oh my God. those kids are scary yeah. speaking of time. kids on the playground um they certainly got a weird experience watching a bunch of us run around oh, yeah. Yeah, so us like, like, that were now like them. seniors in college people like some of us like i was in between Ew. my freshman and sophomore year and i was just like with everybody else, I'm like, I cannot believe I'm running around uh, a playground in a school uniform. <laughs> 90 we degrees. All in the so it, was it was so hot. And these kids day. are just looking at us. Yeah. And the parents are like, what are they doing? We we did. It's we were business, very business, man. Business. And it was weird because I didn't know any of them, but you guys did. So I was like, Oh yeah, we knew one of them associated with them. Hey, one of them yeah, looked we, very we, familiar we, to me. We, we knew I forgot her name. She's a teacher. I feel bad, but she she was there. She's in the background of some shots. I remember and, like one specific kid in like a blue shirt being in the background of us dancing on top of on like right right behind no no in front of the um balcony thing. We had to ask some children to not be yeah, <laughs> kindly. Yep. <laughs> kindly say, hey, this playground isn't yours oh. anymore. This is our town now. We we rent it out there. either yeah i i was so sure that it was going to be empty because like i'd been there all summer and like there was like only ever like five we people there at a time yeah exactly like, striving away from there what are you doing yeah. at the eagle playground <laughs> but like it, it was so i was i was like one nervous that there was gonna be rain maybe but second nervous that it was gonna be super crowded for no reason because but like i was so sure it was gonna be empty but Nope, there's people. And it happens. It happens. Yeah, 
yes, yes. Yeah. Say lovey. Say lovey. Get that in TA. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway. So that is pretty much the entire process. And I think now it is time to not wrap it up because we got a whole track list to go through talk through. Shit. Number one, ah! dream of life. How do Eileen talk about the dream of life? Dream of life. I I don't know how I felt singing it. I just kind of like was like in that zone. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, I'm oh, I'm 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 about to sing and I gotta like do it how I want it to sound. But like when I heard it back, it, it, I, I don't know. There was just something about it. I just this didn't sit right with me. You know what I mean? It was like way too high pitched. Like. I was still in high school at the time, so I mean. Can you demonstrate? Like right now? Yes, like right <laughs> now. <laughs> well, okay. This is how I would have sang it if I did have the option to re-record. You know. <laughs> I know this dream of life is never ending. It goes around and round and round again. You know the sun is rising while descending. It goes on and on and never ends. Playing music? <laughs> so slick. Thank you. There was a little bar up there that just said playing music, set up professional audio and audio mm-hmm. settings. You should do that. Just kidding. We tried to. Yeah. Nah, not right now, man. But yeah, yeah. that's how I'd have, I would have done it. So how was that different? That sounds just as slay. Well, it had more of like a deeper tone to it. I Oh, yeah. yeah like a, I tend to be like more, I tend to go brighter when I sing. Yeah. I've got that like note so it's from It's a darker my, sound. Yeah. I've gotten that note from my, um, chamber singers professor and you know i'm i'm you trying to like tone bright... so you're like your voice is like a bell a bell a bell <laughs> i don't know why i said it i like love that. it when my voice sounds we like a bell, a bell. Oh, look, there she goes that girl is so perk <laughs> don't get copyrighted um oh no <laughs> but yeah That's i mean okay. i mean i asked for retakes a bunch of times but like other than that <laughs> Same old, same old for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. And then that, uh, and then what was the next, what's the next track that's going in here? Uh, the opening mashup. This is the opening whole mashup. The mm. opening mashup. What were y'all's thoughts on that? Like when you first yeah. heard that, like we weren't just going to do like one of the openings, but we were going to mash right. them up or something. What were, what were your reactions to that? I wasn't familiar with the, um, like, all too familiar with the, with the new, like, lyrics. Like, then, of course, they closed the mine, town was struck by 99. I wasn't, I wasn't familiar with all that when I first heard it. Well, I mean, I didn't have to sing it. I'm like, <laughs> everyone else in the choir, because I only had to, <sighs> but, Yeah, you, you, you had, you had spare lines here and there in the group but you didn't have yeah, any solos yeah. to do it wasn't really part of the group you know yeah i felt uh, that it was like oh sorry yeah no. sometimes 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 ricky also was like in the group and not in the group i yeah. think what i did was ricky whenever they were singing in their minds then ricky sang and then mm-hmm. when they were singing out loud then yeah yeah I felt that it was really unique and I feel like out of all the songs in the album that was going to be like the specific one because we and it was also kind of a Herculean feat almost that we were taking like multiple versions of the opening number from iterations of Ride the Cyclone and sort of stitching them together in a cohesive way and Um, and and recording them on our own which is yes that too other mashups that are on YouTube which yep. I, I talked about this with Marley, but this was this mashup was an original idea when I initially we made this album. But since then, many people have made mashups, and so mm-hmm. it's no longer yeah. an original idea. But but first. but we had it first. I made it when I was in Lame Is way before the album even started, so I was first. But we the fact that we recorded this on our, and produced our own music for it, and like made it our own, 
is it was big. also that a challenge. Is incredible, yeah. From, from a writing, from a sort of arranging standpoint, mm -hmm. it was really fun to like listen to like pick at when I first listened to the whole thing and in like in its entirety, my brain already started thinking things like I heard. Doom, doom. I don't know if it was a sound effect or if it was part of the like music, but I was like, what if I could make that? I could wrap the car. But on a, but yeah, that's where the famous, what I could call the muted picking sound came from. And then can you, can it was you more. Make it with your mouth, can you demonstrate the sound? <laughs> that's like a okay version of it. But then like, Sailing through space, I knew I wanted chorus. I knew to, for waiting for a drop, I wanted to go like full on, like rock it out. Yeah. Almost very like distortion metal sounding, which when I retooled it for the final version, I was like, we're going metal, metal, power chords, palm muting, everything. Yeah, the guitar really makes the instrumental, I think, for that. Oh, yeah. It, it, it energizes it, it makes it fuller. It, like, like, yeah, because everything else is that's being done is other than the fake piano. And when I first it, listened to like the cast album, I noticed because I almost thought, got the impression that it was like a small band. And then I heard the electric guitar. I was like, oh, it's a rock, it's a rock score. We got a combo over here. Yeah. They probably like, doubled it. Yeah. For like, the, the album, effect. for the world premiere cast recording, it's definitely not the show arrangement. Yeah. It's. A grander, I imagine. Yeah. Or like they double yeah. everything. Yeah. yeah okay, I... my name is Danny. <laughs> Danny, are you? I. Um, sorry, my brain just. No, it's good. For a second. <laughs> I loved it. I <laughs> did know all of the um, different versions of the opening song before. So it was really cool. Like, I remember listening to it for the first time, and then when it changed to a different, uh, I was like, "Oh, I love it!" Um, <laughs> Every time it changes, the little hamster wheel in your brain goes. Off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, and, oh. <laughs> I know that one. Stuff it in your seat, like. <gasps> exactly. Yeah. Hamster. Yeah, you have like a little reaction each time it changes. Well, just a bunch of hamsters. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it was very fun. Yeah, and and for some of the harmonies, some of them, uh, so because we don't have sheet music for a lot of the score of this, for for a lot of the scores for the opening pieces. So a lot of them was me pulling harmonies out of my ass, and I remember I signed everyone harmonies, pretty much the same, but with no regard for like vocal <laughs> ranges, really. Cool ranges so, like I, I put it based on like what their solo song suggests their ranges so ricky would be like high tenor noel in the middle and then misha on the bottom and then pam's on the bottom and then that's how it is in the actual top, sheet and then Jane on top. yeah but sometimes sometimes noel is very very bottom and then yeah misha, sometimes they switch harmonies and then i didn't do any of that because i don't <laughs> yeah i don't have any capacity for that all i knew is that one second. I'll Mine and Danny's parts were very close together, but sometimes. He, yeah, I think actually for Sugar Cloud, I think for Sugar Cloud, the you harmony. shared. I think for Sugar Cloud, you shared a harmony. You and yep, because I remember yeah. some of the practice tracks we got. It was, it was usually listed as Ricky Noel. Yeah, and it was basically the tenor part for for those <laughs> songs. No, Pam. What were you just singing now? In from the opening number, I, I, we're, we're... you know those videos like TikToks and YouTube shorts and whatever, where they're like, oh, I'm gonna sing this song and I'm gonna sing it in like the six parts and it's the really low part and the not so low part and the higher low part and the magical one note part. I was the magical <laughs> one note part. I just sang the yeah. same part of. Oh yeah. Days through wherever i stopped singing the same note i don't remember where um i sing one note i i did and then you say the name space up the up the no, no, fuck words you forgot the words already four down so beautiful and strange it's all spinning around and everything you love 
and everything you dream. <laughs> <laughs> it changes. That's literally that's what your constant. You gotta be like pick out the change. You gotta. That, figure that it out. was not like the right key, but you, get the I, you know, yeah. no. I sing one note. So when Constance says, "Tis a gift to be simple, tis a gift to be free," she's not kidding. Yeah. Well, <laughs> how, did, how did you choose that song for your bumper? Was it just the first thing you came up with in your head? Because I remember in the script, I did not put "tis a gift to be simple." I put "song." I feel like. I feel like we were recording. I was we were talking about the alto part, and yeah. I I think I I could be lying to myself, but I think I made a joke about how like in choir we did "tis a gift, gift to be simple" at some point. It's like "tis a gift to be simple, tis a gift to be free, tis a gift," and you were like, "Do that, that, that one, do sure. that." Yeah, that's that's the story. That's definitely what happened. Yeah. Not at all Hopefully. a made up thing. That I do remember in the sixth grade, or sixth or seventh grade, we did sing "tis a gift to be simple" in choir, and was that really the alto part? Maybe. <laughs> I mean, it works. Miss right? Daly, if you're out there. Do we need to try this? No. No? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. What were your thoughts on the mashup other than that? I I had never heard the anything <laughs> before. So I feel like I'm like a wine ant. I just have my cup of definitely white wine, guys. It's not water. For sure. Oh, um, am I drinking? Oh, my God. Oh, I'm drinking on camera. <gasps> Um, it's water. It's water. Don't worry. Mine's water Don't worry. too. We're both drinking water. Hydration. Hydration is important. Always important. But it's so important. I remember trying to learn <laughs> the piece, and I was going off the sheet music you did. <laughs> I've given you sheet music for that song you did. Oh, for the one part that you did. Oh sheet. yeah, you were like, yeah. Point, I remember you gave a sheet music. Seeing what was on the sheet music, and I was like. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! But I figured it out, and then I think my favorite uh, part of that whole recording process was when Milan's com- uh, uh, Cicada's computer got lost, and we lost all of the audio, and then uh, yeah. I had to re-record had to down here. Yeah. Shortened off area. Was that before I went to college? It was before you went to college. Yeah, was I was there too. Before. It was like the week before yeah. I went to college. It was like two days before I went away too. Anyway, yeah. so we did that, uh, and I remember forcing you to listen to songs from the Miraculous Ladybug movie. I remember we yes! were Eileen. Oh my god, Jane Doe, and I was out here being like, "Chaos reigns today. <laughs> Chaos will reign today." I love that song so much. Oh my much. god. This is not that is not how these powers should be. Okay, this is a cycle. <laughs> cycle. This is the rise of cycle. Did I talk in- about the music on the car ride because it was bopping? The music on the car ride. Yeah, you can talk about that. Okay, so back, sort of a backtrack to filming yeah. day. Yeah. Cicada, and then we'll and I, we had the music we listened to as we were driving on I ninety was it was a great time for all of us to like. For me, it was a great time to finish listening to all of Octet. And then I remember Cicada played this one album that I really liked. It was Hellfire by Black Midi, I think. Ooh. And then on the way back, I was, I'm was i like, you know what? I'm going to also subject them to Spring Awakening. And, We're, and we also listen to Space Dogs on Space the way. Space Dogs, to- yeah. Oh my it, God. Space Dogs is basically just, if you know Nick Blameyer and Van Hughes, um, uh, Nick Blameyer, he was in musical theater for a few things. Van Hughes was, they were just like, we're going to write a musical about the Soviet space dogs. And I was like, guys, album, let's listen. <laughs> but Spring Awakening, I was like, I, think, I, remember I was driving I just to, that to listen to that. Because yeah, Cicada and I took turns driving. I, I remember I was driving while we were listening to Space Dogs because yep. Cicada pulled up the drum beat that they used in Space Dogs on their laptop. One of the songs, yeah. <laughs> they mentioned that. I was like, wait, really? Yeah. It was during like this one techno-ish track in, this, in the show. Yeah. But anyway. because of that, I finished Octet, which was a big relief for me because now I can say <laughs> I listened to all of Octet and Hellfire, which was really cool. Yeah. All right. Next. Okay, we can rush through the next. Not rush, but here. There's the, the next tracks that we've already either already covered or, uh, are very short. The next one, 
other than what the world needs that was this i talked i talked i talked with marley about that yeah 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 after, after what the world is the next fact that's going that's going to be released is i love you guys oh my gosh the eight minute version minus jazz eight. guitar <laughs> <laughs> no it is not eight minutes it's like a minute three seconds well um it had gone i talked with marley about this but it had gone to like four iterations including in like three of those versions were 10 minute versions that were going to be like satires of current events but didn't happen yeah and but it did not and neither and neither of them i joked that i was going to do jazz guitar for one of them but that never happened yeah because i don't know jazz guitar <laughs> and also I, we didn't have anything i'm written. a brat but um the current version is is she goes she, she says her monologue and then she goes to sing she goes i love you and then it cuts off and then logan as karnak Talks about while well, she sings and sings, Virgil chooses and chooses. Let's speed her up, and the VHS speed up effect happens. You hear her, <laughs> and you hear her singing fast, very, very fast. And that's actually her "What the World Needs" vocals that I have in Google Drive sped up. Oh. And so, if you, very, very oh. closely, you can hear the melody. <laughs> that. Anyway. Yeah, but um, is it the melody? <laughs> what is, what is that, that melody? What is uh-huh. that melody? <laughs> Where'd you get that melody? <laughs> so um it speeds up and then it and then it uh VHS stop button and then she plays. She goes, and you're kind of like my super friends. And then Danny says the iconic line we've recorded a million times. <laughs> which is God damn that? it. Can you keep in your pants for two seconds, you incorrigible succubus? Yeah, right this time. <laughs> can you yeah he said oh. the line, he said the <laughs> so that's how it is now and it's very very fun um i remember um trying to think about what to put as noel's line there because there's a lot of variations on it like liberace jesus christ on a bike um <laughs> i love the jesus christ on a bike it's funny I love Jesus Christ on a bike. Yeah. But I remember trying to decide. I think I decided on a horrible second, but I wanted to say incorrigible because it was a reference to a friend group I was in like two and a half years ago. <laughs> but yeah, and, and incorrigible. It was weird because I remembered it as incorrigible. That was the word. That's why I thought the word was. I Googled it and like, I, I don't remember which one, but apparently it's incorrigible, but I wrote it as incorrigible and I told you to say incorrigible and then you said incorrigible. <laughs> I, I don't know if you remember any of that, but I remember, like, no, holding my head. Very well. That, that. I remember, because I was the one who wrote the damn thing. <laughs> so, but yeah, what, you, what can you do? All right, what's next in the track list after I love you guys? Um... Awkward silence. Okay. Fucked up girl. Fucked up girl. No, because that's not in the album. Anyway, I'm talking about the track list that's happening that's going to be released. Is, is every story has got a lesson in there? No, sadly. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, oh. number one. It is. This song is awesome. Work in progress. Oh, so yeah. that is, it's a little short. Uh, it's, it's just short, but it's like 30 seconds of a sneak peek of me <laughs> recording. This song is awesome in, from the basement with the auto tune. It's very fun. Yeah, I remember I, wanting to have backing like i i remember wanting to have my voice being like doing the whoa whoa yeah but, but it's it's just it's just cicada and i have a video of us recording the whoa but, yeah um, yes yeah, sadly maybe he's the real like, and i say it again i went um, back and forth on adding a wah pedal just yes, to give it an extra also, level of we funkiness also, were we also thinking about honky tonk yeah either well no that was for what the world needs we wanted a honky song what? sound for that i could have sworn that was for no, what the world we were supposed to. We different. wanted to give it like a Motownish sound, but yeah. for for the song is awesome. I was trying to add like, I was trying to add a wah pedal to give it like a funk, like a funky disco sound, even though it's yeah. rap. Because some good, because some disco rap songs words. have guitar parts, and it like. So I was just like, oh, I'll try a wah pedal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good stuff here. <laughs> she, oh, she she's just allergic to her basement, I guess. But um, yeah, the disco. I really wish the wah disco guitar got added because it sounded great. Yeah, I just played around with it for a bit, and then it just 
I gave myself a headache basically trying to like get it right. Yeah, you, you did a lot of heavy lifting for this score, so snaps to you. Yeah. And ASL hand ASL, ASL. applause. Yeah. Applause, yeah. Holly oh, sorry, no, are you still talking? Acoustic. Man. <laughs> acoustic. That is the acoustic feature. And it didn't even get featured in a Tali. And it never got that. featured. Yeah. But yeah, what, no. we did, what we did for Tali was instead was actually last year, Eileen and I recorded us singing Tali in the car. But then I, I was planning on re releasing that as a teaser because it was during the gap where we weren't releasing anything. So I wanted to like put it out right. content, but I never ended up doing it for some reason. And then a year had passed. And so I was like, you know what? We sucked back then. Let's re-record it. And we were in Pam's. I don't yeah. know that that is going on. On your YouTube channel? And Pam, Eileen, and I today, when we were recording, we were filming for Spring Awakening today. And in the car back, we sang Talia in the car while I was driving. And so that's what's going to be released. Yeah. Surprise. I can put this into the world that I know. Surprise. I would have tried harder. That's a it's surprise. Like, it's supposed to be crappy. It says 2023 car edition. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I need to highlight that because it's done now. Yay, it's right. done. It's done. All right. Meet Richard Potts is the next thing. Take it away, Ricky. Okay. So for Meet Ricky, um, what had happened was it was pretty simple, straightforward. Um, what we did was we took the the Meet Ricky video from the Atlanta production. I'm saying, yep. Yeah. And then we combined it with what was in the script at the time that we put the album together, which was about Ricky's make a wish. <laughs> and I be, it kind of became my, a nice little monologue and when I also remember when we filmed the video for our promotional stuff I the final version was basically me eating Twizzlers while doing the monologue which I didn't plan on I did but it as a joke but that ended up being I was like the Twizzler take made it in but me ricky was pretty straightforward and although when the al album did come out i actually liked that we repurposed the space age bachelor man sting yes because it was the one where i like bitch <laughs> like that which was pretty epic it's very very epic oh yeah very like, epic there's just like a re but in there is a weird like changing quality of audio because like it, you go I just yeah. swing in space edge and it's all studio quality and then you say bachelor man it's like cardboard audio because I was recording off of my phone yeah. and then the vocals that we repurposed from space age bachelor we're man we plugged in were filmed and were recorded in the basement so it was like studio quality versus phone mic yeah <laughs> but I think that's funny oh yeah uh, we'll talk about this next I had I just thought of something. Uh, but yep. yes, the, the Twizzlers love them, and the Twizzlers almost made it into Sugar Cloud, but or because I wanted everyone to ah. stuff their pockets with candy as like a visual, but it didn't end up happening because I guess y'all did. Although in retrospect, the Twizzlers was kind of the beginning of the new side of Ricky that unfortunately is in every single production from now yeah. until they changed the script again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Aren't well, you yeah, JoJo's until, until, bizarre until snake? The Twizzlers represent JoJo the snake. Yep. Anyways, Space Age Bachelor Man, the song Spatch. that follows. Yes, yeah, Spatch Age Sp Spatchler Man. Bachelor Man. My yes. my experience doing like, that was the, the I felt like I had a lot more ownership of the song because I wasn't just doing I wasn't copying Scott Redmond. Yeah. And I remember I, yeah. there was talk about what riff you should do for each time you do the the sting. And I think yep. you faced it you, you did your um space in a space age bachelor man I, I, forgot, I forgot what you did what was your special riff um so for most of them what was based off of what scott did but the one at the end i modeled after what was in the blue birch production which was so, i'm a swinger space age. yeah that's it yeah oh oh man i mean and re when Listen when i was recording I kind of pulled a little like psyched myself out a little bit when I didn't realize that we were doing the speech. So 
I oh. just defaulted to doing the making love, yeah, making love, like the little riffs he does. And then so really you're gonna about, do the Alex Weiss. Loving you. Like the what Alex Weiss did. Um, and that part psyched me out a little bit, but I just kept going. Yeah. One part that I actually really am glad that made it in was Love from the Heart is the only Yannick like homage I did, which I feel like Yannick Robin Ike Mirko was such an important Ricky, and unfortunately they have not been like given the credit they deserve. Yeah. So I feel like when yeah. people are like, Where did you get that riff from? I'm like, Yannick Robin Ike Mirko, thank you. Yeah. Not that they're ever going to see it, but I hope that. They should see it. Hopefully somehow. I, I pulled from multiple Rickies, but Scott, um, the guy who played it in Blue Bridge, and Yannick and Alex Weiss were my four that I... <laughs> borrowed from huh it's Heath McMillan and Blue Bridge oh, thanks Danny but yeah it was I took more ownership than just copying Scott Redmond and then of course the alleged string that freaked me out but what ended what ended up being in the final version is what I like to dub synthwave bachelor man yeah <laughs> Because it was all keyboards and all synthesizers, which is cool because it makes it sound like a video game soundtrack. Yeah. And it's, it's my personal lot. headcanon is Ricky grew up in his, basically with his parents and his grandparents. They were kind of nerdy, so I imagine they would have an NES lying around. Uh, Pokemon, Spider Man, this kind of thing. Pokemon, Angry Birds, Candy Crush, probably. <laughs> Probably, maybe also throw in some Zelda for good measure. Oh, uh-huh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it definitely seems like a Zelda kid, yeah. Zelda, Metroid, probably Star Fox. Yeah. I'm just giving listing my favorite Nintendo franchises at this point. <laughs> All right. Have a yeah, look. Space Age Bachelor Man, great. Yeah. What was your... I have a quick funny story. Yeah. I walked into recording when I was recording <laughs> all my other audio. Yeah. Like all the other harmonies, and I did not realize I was singing back up on Space Age Bachelor Man. So he was like, oh, we're going to record this one now. And I was like, I'm sorry, what? So I made everything up. <laughs> oh, you did? I didn't. The rest, I remember saying to you, see, this is the difference between actually having tried to learn something and having not even listened to the sound. Oh, my God. I don't remember that. That's really silly. I would have commended you for that. <laughs> oh, man. It was not good. No, it was good. It was good to end up on the album. So, yeah, I remember. I don't know if you were initially supposed to do that. It was supposed to just be the three uh, people I assigned to the sixty cat leads, but you did the meows anyway, and I think I did the meows too. Yeah, was, Katie and Marley were the the Irish, the British, Irish, and it was the yeah the, the British, the French, and the Irish cats. Oh, okay. You did I think, randomly. Hold on. I think what? we should explain to our audience. The reason why we had the European cats. Yes. Right. Yeah. The European cats, they were each respectively based on Jane, Noel, and Father Marcus. Marcus. Father Marcus. Because British, because Jane's traditionally, not necessarily, but it's like the most sounding British. Most he has British. that middle, mid Atlantic sound. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then Noel's the French one, and then Father Marcus was Irish. So that's where I base it off of. Irish. And I don't, I don't think I don't know if the accents actually read that well, but whatever. I heard it's just just the reading. It's fine. Yeah, I I know Marley asked. Or, I'll just say Marley or MJ Marley asked an Irish friend for her Irish accent, and so she did some research on that. Oh. Yeah. I heard, I always remember when I listen to it now is Zez Van Smothing. <laughs> That's the only like, yeah, yeah, I, oh, I, yeah. Which and one it is, was... that? Is, that, is that Megan or Katie? I forgot. I don't was... know. Megan? Megan? Yeah, I'm thinking yeah, I think Megan. Megan. Yeah. Megan. Megan. Probably Megan. Yeah. All right. That's just one more. Jane Doe. Here we I'll, are. I'll be right. All right. So Jane Doe, I remember I made the I had I think I always planned for it to be 
Actually, I had no idea. <laughs> Initially, I, I had no idea what I was going to do for Jane Doe. I thought maybe we could just film it on the same playground, just at, like, dark. And, like, have a cool... Yeah. Look. I was like, but, like, how... But I, I got to include an ensemble. How are we going to get everyone back for that? How would you be able to, that? like, see me? How would be able yeah. to see you? And, like... But, like, I had no idea what I was going to do. And I was like, oh, maybe we can just film it in your house in, like, a dark hallway. Ask you if you had a dark hallway, I remember. It's like, if you could just, like, make shit up. Oh, yeah. At some point, I don't remember when it clicked, but I just started looking up stock videos. Because I remember that Cicada had a projector. I asked them if we could use the projector. They said, they said yes. And so, I, like, two nights, the night before we intended to film Jane Doe, I looked at a bunch of stock videos and compiled them. And then wrote out lyrics and then made variations without lyrics and, like, so crazy ones with an instrumental ones with the vocals yeah. it's like four different five different videos in the playlist of like variations of the projections and i was intending to film the next day but then we ended up not doing it so we did it the next day but it was all very last yeah. minute and, it, and i had no idea if you were going to be visible for the dark scenes either because i had never tested it with a projector but it turned out yeah. awesome and i taught you the choreo the day of yeah so what was that? oh yeah this Which is why I kind of like, <laughs> and I remember um, while I was doing the um, choreo while you were recording and the um, bright like circle of light that my head was supposedly yeah. supposed to be on, it was tilted, like not centered. <laughs> it was like on like, yeah, it's like the right side. Slightly... So it was yeah. So I could just like hear you being like on your left, on your left. Yeah, and then and then you went your other left, and then I was like, <laughs> because I'm stupid. Oh, oh. <laughs> but yeah, yes. I th we have that on video too. I think it's in one of the um my TikToks. Yeah, the scenes. You're on our left. <laughs> and the TikTok video, the TikTok <laughs> video that got you viral when Ride the Cyclone was like bigger. Was booming. And it Popular. was, yeah, it was, it was booming, and it was me singing parts of the ballad of Jado, and um, I remember you um also posted um when I was singing the um different set of lyrics. That was yeah, the one yeah, viral that as well. And people were freaking out about. I the think that I actually recommended. Oh you, yeah, you recommended. I think I lyrics. actually recommended that to you. New because lyrics? I remember like trying to find Ballad of Jane Doe on my yeah. SoundCloud. And that's yeah. the only thing that I could find was like that snippet was like remember, different lyrics. I'm, like, this could the work. first part, no one around to mourn or cry, no great ascent up to the sky. I heard perfectly clearly. But the second part, I don't know if you were mumbling or something, but you I had to repeat the lyrics to me like five times. I ended up not including them. The as sprung from wombs, now stuck in tombs, and no one living knows. I couldn't hear you. I thought you said and I'm no one sprung from knows. tombs, as sprung from tombs. A spring, a spring from. I had no idea what the fuck you were saying, and so I just didn't put it oh, in. Fuck. So it, that's why it's just no one around to mourn or cry. I think it was better that way because I don't know how we could have like incorporated those yeah. lyrics with like the way that the piece is. Yeah, that was like really yeah. like, old stuff. But yeah, um, I remember like since since the vocals got lost with the computer and all that, and you asked me to re-record. I'm like, thank God. Because <laughs> I did not trust the way that I sounded in the boom. Oh my god. In the in the, microphone. the basement. So oh yeah, the basement. Ooh. Mm. And, and um, was all, the, all the rats. All the rats. Rats, rats, <gasps> rats, rats, rats. We are the rats. Uh <laughs> different basement. Yeah. <laughs> and um I remember like recording the vocals on my iPad with the like voice recording app. It was just it was it was it was so simple. And um I made those choices. <laughs> those specific choices. You know the choices I'm talking about. I know the choices you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> He's scaling it up, me always going <laughs> whatever. Hitting those notes. Like, you, that's insane. Uh, people definitely appreciate it too because in the comments about Ballon Jado you can see a lot of there was that one comment who like point, pointed out very specific details with time yes, stamps like, was so, all of, like, like all of those time stamps was amazing. I was so honored to receive it was those awesome to see. Yeah. it was amazing and um, I'm trying to remember other things because 
um it was like a few days yeah it, of course it was a few days before i had to go to college for the first time and um i just had like a lot of fun with the movement and like how i wanted jane doe to like look in like terms of like action and like how she would be moving yeah. i think i think the music video cat like captured that pretty well but yeah, um I, yeah, I even yeah. hand choreo yeah um, and i specifically liked how everyone in the comments was like um you can't you can't see her head for like the few few couple of like beginning yeah. shots I was like, oh yeah that was an accident that was a happy accident it was such a happy accident guys but I'm it, glad worked. You it worked because at the beginning and the end you can't see her head it's like, amazing yeah like, there's the behind the scenes video of like us watching it happen for the first time and then just like, it goes oh my god wait looks like she's headless and then it cuts off <laughs> and then it just cuts off and then it's a blackout yeah <laughs> reference another behind the scenes video so no yeah. head so, so no, no head, <laughs> so no head. <laughs> <laughs> i just loved how i could find ways to incorporate different people who've played jane doe in the past yeah. like um, that's what i wrote in the little description of it on my website i said that you you brought a fresh I, something like this i you brought a fresh new take to jane doe while paying homage to those before you yeah i was gonna, I was gonna name drop emily rome but i decided not to <laughs> emily rome ashlyn maddox i mean emily yeah. rome already knows that i exist so can't. yeah you we got that's uh emily rome got tagged in the viral tiktok yeah oh my god yeah and um we all find out we all find out. i <laughs> i vividly remember wanting to um it was the it was the second time that i would go like Ooh, and like going up and like the last oh. <laughs> i wanted to go higher because i i saw like a clip of the bootleg from um, of ashlyn maddox yes. yeah and i really yeah. wanted to do that and i wanted to like yeah and you did it in your own quality too you did it as more of like a a, a whistle what? it almost sounded like yeah it sounded like, it like and then ashlyn does it like a scream so it's like these two interpretations of it with the same note which is oh great. yeah I had a lot of fun with the vocals because yeah the vocals were a treat to listen to when when you sent them to me and I was like editing it I was sending sneak peeks to the group chat and like like every like every like I five was, seconds I was like, surprised like like, like just seeing how one much night. it evolved oh yeah definitely yeah. I'm so glad that my old vocals did not make the cut because <laughs> I was so proud of how I did and in the comfort of my own home yeah because uh, especially i'm i had the same thing like with my talia that's that's a whole other reason why i recorded it today we recorded it today because like a year ago i was i did not have the pipes to go up there but now i do oh yeah the key change yeah i'm glad that my one and only cut of space age bachelor man is the one that made it in <laughs> yeah because i went just <laughs> been all over the place now <laughs> i did it recently can you imagine if we used your take from way back in 2021 no god no sweet baby alex sweet baby alex and now i'm like thinking back to my very first like cover of ballad of jane doe and i yeah, i saw I that put it on my youtube channel i saw and, that um just seeing that evolution from that to it's an wild. actual full-blown music video with me in it with whole new costuming and lighting and like lighting vocals projection effects oh that was just it's the whole shebang in my face like what the fuck yeah, you're, you're awesome. in, literally in the spotlight and, like, which literally, is a funny thing yeah. during the premiere like back in october i was like in awe like fully like that i we did that y'all we did you did that we did we and, did. Did and like it, it was so oh. funny because like i i made you like I made Jane like have these moments in the music where like she's in the darker stuff, but then she gets more illuminated, which is right. funny because she's not supposed to know who she is. But like, it was your it was your face. We didn't even black out your eyes or anything or put on doll makeup. But I feel like that has like some sort of interpretation in there that yeah. I don't know as the director. But it it someone else can interpret it. Has a powerful moment when when this when the when it transitions to the Ferris wheel with your head in there and like the spinning orange lights. Like it's, a, it's such a powerful moment even though it's like, so much, yeah. like a traditional jane doe presentation like yeah uh, something about this i wanted it to be colorful like a lot of jane doe's 
music was they're all like blue or like gray or white or we black. We had some blue. Yeah, we had we had we had, yeah we had some blue, but it was very vibrant. It was it was a forest. We had no productions have done that before. It was a forest transitioning to a carnival, and then we also had the space element. But like, I wanted to be colorful and unique, and I yeah. think you helped bring that to life with your performance. Thank you. You're welcome. Moving on, the new birthday song. <laughs> Hmm. Alex and I discussion the new birthday. How do so- you know? How do we know it's not your birthday? Your birthday. That line's not in there anymore. Ah, so I, I could I could put it in actually, but you know what? I'm putting it in. I'm putting it in just because it's, it it's still being edited right now. But the new birthday right. song instrumental is um I wanted it to be a bonus track initially when the album was first releasing because I loved um after Jane Doe's. Valagindo, it's this new birthday song scene and it's just everyone debriefing after whatever the fuck just happened with this doll headed monster and they're all like talking and it's this and it's this gentle instrumental of like dulcimer or harmonium or something and i it always like touched me in a way and so i wanted to like create like a longer version of just the instrumental for the album and that's what alex and i are doing sort of i have like digital organ and synth and piano and vibraphone and then he's providing guitar and ukulele um my my main inspiration like if the rest of the show can go from metal power chords to motown-ish sound this one is kind of like almost like the orpheus guitar sound from hades town like this very mellow humbuckery which is great because i already have like the perfect guitar for it humbucker is the kind of pickup on on, on a lot of gibson guitars I didn't make that word up humbuckery, humbuckery. anyway wow. so it was like mellow guitar mellow mellow i was just playing chords for that coming up with event eventually coming up with a very slow but very like you know it's there and then the ukulele was just sort of because my because ori- originally my idea was I can play ukulele, make it sound cute. Yeah, as Marley's the original the birthday, still, like, the original yeah. new birthday song. But now it's evolved into more of kind of an add on, like a like yeah, the, it's right. the lead part. Whereas it, it's it's the new birthday song suite. It's the new birthday song extended lo fi to well not lo fi. <laughs> it's to, just I don't know how to describe. You listen it. to it while you're studying. It's 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 like. it's like a comforting song you put in the background yeah Yeah. but not too comforting because i i made this very clear it's like it's like the it's it's like the calm after a storm basically that scene and and it's it's like settling down but you're not quite like falling asleep comfortable you're like sitting with the thoughts and it's like this happy music but it's not really cheering you up necessarily so it's that it's that threaded needle feeling that I want to capture it. Mm-hmm. and it's like yeah. my one of my favorite scene underscorings in theater ever so yeah and it's at 50 beats per measure which for some reason you that was a that Why was because he, he was sending me recordings of him playing this what last night it was a struggle for me because I was trying way too hard to follow the metronome that I was using the metronome app. I was using like a click track, so I'm just feeling like a slower feel. I also have the tendency to go like boom, bam, boom, bam, like that pattern almost. But it was hard to like slow that down because I'm used to playing like at faster tempos. Yeah, you're faster to, like, than fifty beats per minute. the metronome in your head, in your heart. Yeah, I just felt, I felt the it metronome like metronome heart. Metronome's heart. Yep. But yeah, but. <laughs> It should be fine now. What? What? Okay. What? It's your turn. Yeah. We're almost oh. done. Pam. Since not sugar cloud is next, we've already right. talked about a lot of it. But is there anything else you'd like to add on it with your experience making it happen? Um. Everyone else like actually did research and like did their jobs, and I was like, I job? watched the bootleg one time. That's enough, and so my. Mm-hmm. Like, but that made it you character of Constance is based on pulling shit out of my ass. Um, <laughs> but 
Candy. Yeah. Get out of your ass. Candy Pauline Twizzlers. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most disgusting <laughs> imagery ever. Can we please cut that? I cannot say that on the internet. All apologies <laughs> to Twizzlers. <laughs> to Twizzlers, we are not sponsored. Please don't sue us. Don't. Twizzlers are great. Unofficially. I eat Twizzlers every day. Twizzlers are red vines, though. Twizzlers. Twizzlers. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. No, it was it was such a cool experience because. Uh, Recording and meet Constance and Jawbreaker. The monologues were yeah. some of the first things I did. Well, I guess meet Constance Blackwood was one of the last things I did. Yeah, um, but it was kind of like start and end. Meet Constance Blackwood was such a silly little thing that we did, so cute and silly. And I was very upset when it didn't get posted until a year after. <laughs> it's not their fault. Cool. Was that it? Was not their fault. Um, <laughs> but yeah. No, it was fun. The filming of Sugar Cloud was awesome. I always get angry at like certain little parts of Sugar Cloud. Oh. The recording, mm. I'm just like, oh, I listen to that sounds. Sh- eh. I listen to your Sugar sounded. Cloud. Was... Yeah. And then I get I... sad about it, but oh. sometimes that's okay. Oh no! All of it sounds great. It's just when the final like, guitar, oh, when the final been. part came out, I was a little underwhelmed by just how crappy my electric sounded because i imagine this like pump in like almost i was basically using a filter to make it sound like brian mays from queen's guitar like this all of a sudden like holy shit it's not it's electric like holy shit an electric guitar there's this gentle acoustic now it's not but it like just sounded like i was recording on my phone which i was but everything else was yeah, great. It, sound, it sounds yeah. good. We're all very tired. It's <laughs> awesome. I think it's, it's an like, awesome it's track. Like, it's yeah. an awesome track. I yeah, it was, it was awesome it. learning it before it was fully. Jawbreaker okay. the monologue makes me cry. Not actually, but on the inside, it makes me it's cry. Such a, it's such an emotional. I love that monologue so much. It's yeah. such a wonderful did it once. Yeah. I was very grateful to have played Constance. Yes. Did you yeah. did you ever reference Eileen's performance of Jobbreaker? Man, I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. I I didn't know it existed because when Bittersweet, I guess no, I was friends with you. You were friends, but we were junior year. We were, yes, we were, and I was a shit friend and never listened to your albums. Now okay. I don't listen to them. <laughs> um, no, but see, There's you make them. I was involved. So what's in gonna come next? Uh, so I think I actually accidentally found your cover of it. I mean, when I was showing my voice teacher, so, you so showed your voice. No, I just you used showed it to your voice because I didn't know the the um the melody. But ah, yes, mm-hmm. I found it one time. One time. And never again. Ice. I have listened to it since then. More than once. You should listen to it. It's pretty good. I guess. It's, it's a amazing. pretty epic cover. It can't, it it can't beat how you did it, Pam. Yeah, you two have like the different interpretations. He has some crazy riffs around yes. there. And then, and then you have like this punk sound, which is yow! Yeah, yeah. I, feels, at the end. I, I remember hearing that and I was like, damn, we got it, it yeah. had more of a rock and roll feel than oh yeah i think even my song which is very bowie inspired yeah. it was giving rock yeah i remember yes. you, you talking about um it's pop rocks. Fuck everyone ha. it was giving we're out here penis heads it was giving fuck everyone take that as you will both interpretations oh, are probably correct i mean like constant. you could say it was like pop rock yeah. Like pop yeah, way, yeah. I have like, to say, I think one of my favorite experiences of this album was recording and <laughs> getting to sing it. Having it, having Cicada be the <laughs> guy, the the <laughs> getting getting to show my parents and my family like one of the first tracks that was released was me. Singing. It's the first line. Yeah, I lost my virginity to a carny in a porta potty. <laughs> 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 Mm-hmm. Can't just show that to my boyfriend, yeah. especially. <laughs> Getting to tell my boyfriend that the carny that I lost my virginity to was the person who <laughs> refused to bring their of the project <laughs> was so much fun. Oh my god! Uh, we love you, Cicada. One last, we one love last you, Cicada. Cloud. We love you, Cicada. 
one last thing about Sugar Land. I remember when we were choreographing it, or I was teaching you the choreography. Then there's that moment up on the bridge where it's um we're acting like we're in slow mo and you're like rocking out with your microphone. Yeah. I remember you told me about how like you 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 want to do like this Disney Channel like Demi Lovato inverted Disney knees. Disney knees. I have a photo of you doing it. Disney. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Maybe when I'm more it's it's real. This is me. This is because you know this is me, Disney Channel segments. Oh, oh my god. Maybe when I'm more it's in a few months. Oh. More it's yes, bitch. I'm living. Bitch. Yeah, it. okay, that's in a few months. Yeah. We're not thinking about that. But this is the photo yeah. of her. Disney Channel knees. In my yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it made it into the music video. Oh, Disney, I, I don't know if it made it into the real thing though, because you were probably like had you probably had a lot on your mind when we were filming. Yeah, you made Rockstar moves. It's the thumbnail of the music video because yeah, it's epic. Oh yeah, we still got the Disney yeah. knees there. They're just. So remember we started talking about drugs, and you're like, "Oh my god, it's a drug reference!" And then we decided to make yeah. it like a drug trip. No, that was funny. It, it wasn't. It wasn't because yellow yeah. submarine moment. All right, last track that is being released to discuss, and conveniently, it's literally nothing to talk about. It's meet the underworlds. It's the last thing that's. It on is there. so sad that we don't have. Yeah. It's just a ride. I know. Yeah. I that. So surprise! It's such a perfect finale. It's, it's a put great that out there finale. that that those yeah, tracks yeah. would have been awesome. I should talk yeah. about that. That actually, I should talk about it's just a ride because I did a it's cool director. Ride. I did a cool director thing that Brooke Maxwell and Jacob Richman and no other director before me had ever thought of to do for it's just a ride. <laughs> so, spoiler alert for Ride the Cyclone. Scroll past if you don't know the ending. The timestamp will be here. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> time for that. But um, basically, at the end of the show, it, uh, Ocean carries and says, "Democracy rocks," and decides to choose Jane Doe to go back to the to to the before life, to life, <laughs> and so, and it's after. and so she goes through the magic portal and is revealed to be Penny Lamb, a character from another play that the same writers wrote. But um, what I wanted to do was I wanted it to be that because in the normal show she goes away and then she's gone for good, she's back there. <laughs> But what I wanted to do was for her to stick around after she's revealed and like party with the kids so, so that she gets to be in the finale. Right. Because so, like I feel like like once she left, like she didn't really have like that much of a connection with everyone else to like really like finalize her being yeah. there. And so what I did was I had her be revealed as Penny Lamb. They know who she is, and she and then she um sticks around to sing It's Not a Game. And then once Karnak fucking sparks shoot everywhere, the kids like protect jane it's a cute little thing and then now or penny they protect penny penny's there now and it's this tense moment of wait we just voted to send her back to life and now she's here what the fuck are we going to do is she going to go back or not and that and that recontextualizes the slow part into it's just a ride where they're like we're just sailing through space no up or down and so it was like a tiny detail that you wouldn't even have noticed real most people probably wouldn't have noticed it was just audio i didn't plan to do a music video for this yeah. but you would hear her vocals though and you would know that it was happening and so she would be it's just a ride a ride and then at the end when she sings her dream of life from the very beginning it's her as penny this time and it'd be like this like chills moment of like wow she's going no back reverb. to life no reverb no reverb yeah Oh, that would have been so it, cool. It would have been with no reverb. I, I want to. Why do you think I did this album? Of course I want to direct it. I mean, it's strange. I know. This is my gateway to directing. Like, albums. honestly, I wasn't I wasn't what proud of how I sang major the last part of life. Just like, the ride in Guitar Land was a test in how do I create the sound of, the, of an acoustic strumming while having the heaviness and power of an electric guitar which i ended up coming up with something i i never still heard don't. it so yeah yeah i remember I doing the acoustic in- part for it oh. i remember doing an acoustic the acoustic intro for the first half but i couldn't come up i couldn't for the lights of me do like from the it's no, the all oh, it's just a ride onwards basically yeah I remember not liking the way that I sang um, 
the last like dream of life is never ending but i guess like, you the recorded. very very ending of it but i just remember not liking how it turned out but like if i doubt i mean i don't know if we'll ever get the chance to really redo just a ride but if we ever maybe, do maybe, maybe in the future i'll put it in an album somewhere i could then i, I would could. figure you know. that out yeah 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 mm -hmm. I, remember, I remember i intended for it's just a ride to be in bittersweet my album that i leaned in sugar cloud in but no one turned in their fucking audio. So. <laughs> um, you, you, I, Alex turned in your audio. You turned in your audio. I know you. Did. I'm a good boy. I turn things in. Yeah, you, <laughs> I do my as I good boy. Um, Alex a good is. Boy. I, I should mention this. Alex is one of the best. Aww. Oh, I feel bad saying this around you all now. But Alex is one okay. of the best actors, best collaborators I've ever worked with because he's pretty much a vet veteran. He's been here since. 2021 with Swing and Space Age Singers, which was the album he did Space Age Bachelor Man on first. But like he... Well, originally it was a it was a song from Beowulf, A Thousand Years of Baggage. Yeah. And then and then you changed it to After I Fell in Love with Ride the Cyclone. Yeah. And but like you Alex is like very humble, almost to a fault, because he, he'll make me think that he's gonna turn in his audio in like 20 years, but then he turns it in the next day completely like pristine and <laughs> clean awesome yeah i kid you not the day before we filmed this is when i recorded the new birthday song yeah i was well, up at right. like there's almost a, there's a deadline for that but i was up until midnight um yeah i was emailing you yeah. I, would, I would get your email and then after i, I sent him the screen. email his response was go to bed it's mid yes. it's like it's almost mid like i'm like i'm sorry i have sleep deprivation i don't know how to sleep <laughs> but I, I get the best email titles from you by the way every time it pops up in my notifications i have a screenshot in the folder of um it's your email <laughs> notification and it says i want to make love in outer space and that's, that's right <laughs> when i i just recorded well. like three two three times when we first recorded everything but <laughs> and this goes back to swing and space age ghost quartet yep yeah bittersweet enough, enough praise uh it, it makes my head feel big <laughs> we've got a bunch of big heads yes all right uh, 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 now on to the underworlds yes yeah. so this is the last check we're going to discuss before we wrap up with the moral because of the story three hours and what did we yeah. learn today Katie? what did we all learn so meet the underworlds is a very quick thing it's it's um because it was my it was my version of what on the world premiere cast recording is the track called still here but um i decided the band doesn't get to be shouted out in the real show really so why not i do i put that in here as karnak breaking the fourth wall being like hey these are the three creatives listed at the top of the album cover. You're probably wondering what they did in this album. And so it's like a little cute little meet the band thing where like Aww. we each play a thing and then Logan says our name, what we did. And I had a little comedy beat bit where um he says, um, uh, meet the un uh are you still here? Why? Are you waiting for something to happen? If so, you just may be in luck. And then there's the sound of a piano falling down the stairs and crashing at the bottom. <laughs> and then you can, and then the best part is you hear rats laughing. Because <laughs> I decided the rats, the rats are in a lot of these tracks that I've edited for the final ride, by the way, because the rats, I feel like, need more representation. We love the rats. And so, and so rats, it's the rats. Rats, so rats, 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 yeah. rats. And then rats, Alex, and then he and then Logan says, um, meet Alex Miller on the guitar. And then he <laughs> plays this long thing. <laughs> and then it seems like it's over. And then Logan goes to say something and he plays another chord and the rats laugh again. <laughs> Originally it was supposed I was supposed to come up with a solo. I was gonna pull a solo out of my butt, but then I was figuring I put way too much focus and you put way too much brain power in this. Brain power into what I like. So like much more would have just the orchestrations dry. was just the the ending the end part of Uranium Mega Mashup, which was my favorite part to come up with and why I'm very proud of the final product. Yeah. And Should that be. final bit, what we ended up what's gonna be in the underworlds was just a random like oh, just to make sure it was over. <laughs> <laughs> I just love some that. grunting like arr, arr, arr. <clears throat> another power yeah. another power chord you're welcome 
I, and I think at the end of Meet on the Worlds, what I'm having is um, so it's this epic, um, like thirty seconds of meeting the band with epic music, and then bam, it ends, and then there's like, 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 like an audience was just like, <laughs> what just happened? Yeah, as if there's an audience of like two people. <laughs> just happened. I don't know. I think we should clap. Fortnite. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> that's a reference to our Ghost Quartet album where like a fortnight in the <laughs> vault underneath our Alex and I made a meme edition of him singing Photograph from Ghost Quartet which is this wild ass song and then I added in me pretending to be audience members saying we should be clapped and then <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then fortnight. oh my god but yeah fortnight. go look that up it's on my channel but yeah it's 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 good. I reference Ghost Spongebob Quartet. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh my god. So yeah. Anyway, that brings us to the end of our discussion. This is like the final thing we're doing for this album before it all gets edited oh. to the So film. what did we learn today, children? So what so is was the, the, the time yeah. of What was the moral of this whole What was the moral campaign? of the story? But no. Guhong, I thought not every story has to have a lesson. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> every story has a lesson. Every story has got a lesson. Hey, wait, wait. No, I know, I know, I know. I, know. <laughs> I was, I was hovering my button over the end meeting but but as a joke. This is <laughs> odd. No, <laughs> yeah. be careful. Right. Oh my god. But yes, yeah, so in all in all, in all seriousness, each and every one of you, I'm so glad you're part of this album. It would not have been the same without you. <laughs> it would not be the same without you. And um, thank you all. It was such a blast. <laughs> I had such a fun time. I mm, love working all, with new I people. Think, every worked time I think way of too hard. I think, every time I think of these characters, I think of us as the characters because, like, yes. your all, all our interpretations of these characters stick in my mind on the regular, and like, it is never the same. If I ever direct a real stage production, I want. You all to be the cast. Yes. I will find a way. Uh, yes. Make it happen. I would love that. Make it happen. I would love that. I want. Yeah. Like, it's like rent a theater. Yeah, you. <laughs> it is so odd that a bunch of people, most a lot half of you I met on the internet, and, and that you are like such like an integral part of my lives now. My lives. I have nine of them. I, I you have many them. lives. You're like a. Lives. Yeah. You're like plus and minus. Danny from New Zealand. Yes. Make sure he has house. Trying to get your nine loves back. Yeah, but you have all of you have my internal gratitude for being on this album and bearing with me. Yeah. Of course, yeah. I've like bared with you ever since middle school, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Applause to you all. And you I have put my way too much time and brain it. power and <laughs> wasted minutes of my life just to. <laughs> Make sure that this thing happened and that they were good wasted oh, minutes because God. it's banging. Wasted. Banging. No, it not saying wasted. wasted. It was wasted for a good cause. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Any other final sayings before we stop recording? Yeah. Do your everybody do yourselves a favor and um invest in a Gibbs in a Gibson Les Paul. It will change your lives. What? Uh, what? A Gibson Les Paul. It's a guitar. It's like <laughs> the... Got it. Good to know. Team, I am Team Gibson for life. <laughs> All right. I mean, strats are great, but Gibsons. Be safe. Be good. Be good. 